Okay, how do we move stuff around in the terminal? How do we get one thing from one place to another place? It's not like you have sort of pictures of folders and files and you can drag and drop them with the mouse or cut and paste. Instead we use a program called Move. A Move is really intuitive, it's really quick to use and um, you can also rename files with Move as well. You might end up finding that using Move this way in the terminal actually is less clunky than dragging and dropping things, uh, maybe. Okay, so let's see what I've got set up here. I've made three empty directories and I've got a readme.markdown in directory three and that has some text in it and I've got a readme.txt which is in the current directory and that also has some text in it. So let's say for example I wanted to move this readme.txt into directory zero. Well, how would I do that? Well, I'm going to use move. To invoke move we type mv which is short for move and then a space and now move wants us to give it the exact location of the thing we are moving. So we want to move readme.txt. Now readme.txt is in the location we are currently in, this directory here. And move is smart enough to understand both absolute location and logical relative location. So if we um, typed in readme.txt, it would understand that it's saying from the place I am invoking move, readme.txt is here. Uh, and then we give it the location that we want to move it to. So in this case we want to give it directory zero because we want to move readme.txt in the current location to directory zero, into directory zero. We press enter and when I tree this out we can see that readme.txt has moved from this directory here, the one we're in, into directory zero. Okay, so that's fairly easy. How do we do it using absolute location? So let's move readme.txt from directory zero into directory one. So if we type pwd for print working directory, this is gonna give us our absolute location here. So we're inside the home directory, inside the yt directory, inside the 001 move directory. So let's invoke move with mb and then a space and then let's give it the location of the thing we want to move, the absolute location. So the absolute location is home yt 001 move directory zero and then readme.txt. So this is the absolute location of the thing we're moving and then we need to give it the absolute location of that we want to move it to. So let's go home yt 00 move directory one there we go so we are moving this location to this location okay so now when I treat this out we can see readme.txt has moved from directory 0 into directory 1 okay pretty good now let's look at how we rename files with move so let's use relative location again so we'll invoke move space then we'll give it the location of the thing we're moving so directory 1 readme.txt and let's move it into directory 2 and rename readme.txt as well. So relative location again, directory 2 and let's call it readu.txt. Now I press enter. Now if I tree again we can see that the readme file that was in directory 1 has now moved into directory 2 and we've also renamed it to readu.txt. Now, one thing to bear in mind when you're using move and you're renaming stuff is that you are literally moving from one location to another location. So if you have another thing in the location you're moving something to and it has the same name as the thing you are moving, well move will assume that you want to effectively overwrite that thing. So for example, if I wanted to move readu.txt from directory two into directory three, renaming it to readme.md. Well, move would assume that I wanted to overwrite that file. So let's do that. Let's just see what's in this readme.md. So there you go. There's one line of text. This is readme.md. So let's do move's default behavior and let's move 
readyou.txt into directory3 and let's rename it to readme.md. Now when I tree, we can see that readyou.txt has moved from directory2 into directory3 and it's been renamed readme.md. And let's cut that file just to see, just to prove, and there you go. So this is readyou.txt renamed to readme.md. Now this might be the behavior we want. We might want to overwrite files, but let's say we didn't want to do that. Well, there's an option in move so we can change its behavior. So let's just get back to where we were. I'm gonna use the move command again just to get this file back. Okay, so now we have the two files again. And let's do the same command. Let's move readyou.txt into directory3 and let's rename it again to readme.md, but we don't want to overwrite that file. So now we can put tag i. So we're just giving the move program the i argument, and this is going to invoke interactive mode. So move will now ask us if we want to overwrite this file. And there we go. So you can type n or y to answer that question. So let's not overwrite it. And that is a way of using move safely. It's very easy when you're using the terminal to make quick mistakes. Um, you get very fast in typing and sometimes you just will make an error and invoking interactive um, as default will be very useful. If you're feeling adventurous, you could look into adding an alias for move tag i into your bash rc. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on that. Um, but that is pretty much move. That's 99% of the things you'll use with move 99% of the time.